Word has it uh, the Don is en route to visit Napoleon. Word travels fast. Not as fast as good news. No news is good news. Here today, gone tomorrow. You can lead a horse to water, but you can't make him drink. Your turn. Cliché! How was that? I'll do it again. I'll do it better this time. Cliché! I'm, I'm, I'm gonna talk about clichés. And I'm gonna say I don't like them. And even more so in reality television. Because I watch a lot of reality TV. And the cliches, these, you know, the, the people who tend to be on reality TV shows are usually not the sharpest tacks in the sh that's a, the sharpest tacks in the, the sh brightest bulb in the pack, the, the sharpest tool, the, and there are several, several, several cliches that people say on reality TV that just, <clears throat> I just want to reach my hand into the TV set and, and strangle these stupid people when they say these things. The worst is, and it, this is not just reserved for reality TV because I hate when people say this in general because on a philosophical level, I, I, I could not disagree with this more. And I, I'm, I'm on, 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 the, on the other side of that because most people do subscribe to this cliched, cliched idea that everything happens for a reason. No, I don't think everything happens for a reason. I think that, that good things happen and bad things happen and, and, and I think that a lot of the times things happen because you work really hard and you want them to happen and you make them happen. And then there are kind of shitty things that happen that, you know what, it just happened. When they say that they love someone to death. I, I you know, especially on these reality TV shows where, you know, they, you go in there and maybe you know someone for a few days or something, you know? You camp with them for a week and, and suddenly you love them to death. It's ridiculous enough to say that, that you love someone that you don't know. But then to love them to death is even... I mean, does anyone... is anyone really even paying attention to what they say? They might as well be saying blah 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 I love them to death. I love them so much that I, I want them to die. That's how much I love them. I love them so that they will die. And a new one that people have started saying really a lot over the last year or two. I didn't hear much of this way back when, when reality TV first began. But, but now, you know, there's a lot of people on these reality TV shows who have grown up watching reality TV shows and they have no firsthand experience of a time before reality TV. So it's my theory that it's a, a generational, a generational thing that even in this case as well transcends reality TV. I think it's a, a pervasive attitude um, in today's youth. This, they say this a lot now. Oh, well, so-and-so, they don't deserve to be here. What? Who does? Oh, they don't deserve to be here. It's the same thing. It's, 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 it's the same attitude that had Kanye West get up on stage and say that What's-Her-Face didn't deserve to win an award because someone else had a, you know, the whole thing about, you know, not deserving something. I'm telling you, it is something. It is something out there, this idea of, of you know, of kind of dealing with your own insecurity or your own bullshit or whatever that may be and kind of projecting that out there and saying that someone else isn't deserving. It's kind of a, a new way. Well, it's an old way, but it's... A, now it's is this is this video going anywhere are you with me have i lost all of you have i peace out what does that mean peace out where are they peace i'm out of here peace out reese's pieces piece of cake oh it's a piece of cake why does that i didn't say that it's a piece of cake